I hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses, mm -hmm. I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. <clears throat> to my returning OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good. To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I appreciate that. To my bear beauties, my sugar babies, my hair allergy 101s, my spiritual bathers. Thank you so much for your continued support. I love you guys. You totally rock. To those who donate, like, share, subscribe, book me for readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're totally amazing and you rock. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a Scorpio affair. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, your white papers. Whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me. I'm currently running a $44.44 special. I'm going to start calling that a portal. That's a portal reading, okay? It's a portal open. Only a few going to get in because only a few of y'all believe, but that's okay too. Everything else you need to know is in the description box below. What do we got? I can't make this shit up. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Your first energy. I, I'm telling y'all, sometimes <clears throat> we don't break through because we don't, we don't, you know, everything in us is disagreeing with it. You're wrestling. You keep wrestling with the the your discernment, which you hear in God's voice. You don't hear God's voice. Who am I talking to? The will of fortune right here. Your first car out. Shit finna change. Scorpio no longer have limiting beliefs. I keep letting y'all notice the nine of wands. Like you right there. Somebody right there. They just won't. You just won't be obedient. You heard it. But you dismissed it as quick as you as you heard it. Who am I talking to? For some of you, this is this is good karma. This is relationships finally being to a resolution. This is unfinished business being resolved for you, Scorpio. I feel like somebody hurt you really, really, really bad. And the thing about it is, this person hurt you, and they, you know, it's almost like they went out their way to do it. Or they teamed up with somebody to do it. Never in a million years, though. I feel like, too, this person thought you were broken. This person thought you was down when they did what they did to you. But never in a million years did you see what the universe was doing or what was coming. Neither did them. This this situation has definitely turned in 2024, okay? You're setting boundaries. You, you no longer, yeah... <laughs> the world card. I can't make this up. You no longer feel, you know, safe with loving people the way you used to. I feel like 2023 was a big, a huge cycle that ended for Scorpio that mostly had to do with our emotions. How we feel about things. I feel like what we re what we realized in these last three years is people really don't feel much. Most people are numb. Most people are dealing are not dealing with what's making them numb. Whereas Scorpio, you have this mirroring energy. It's like you always you feel convicted if you do something wrong. If you do something good you you don't look for an accolade or anybody to gas you up about it or congratulate you or like recognize you for it it's like you tried it every way you could to like save some type of love language in your life when really i feel like what you found out is love is really just about the creator especially when you're talking about unconditional love and i know some people going to disagree but these will be the people who will continue to be heartbroken. The King of Wands is here. I feel like, <clears throat> and the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, make it make sense. Scorpio, you could be entering a union with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Don't have to be. I feel like most of all, this King of Wands is giving 
you know, the audience. And when I say audience, I mean the people coming coming into your life or in your energy. It's kind of giving them that, that preface, like what's in the front of the book. That little story that tells a little bit about it. It's like you're telling you're telling people straight up, like, this is what I need from you. And if you're not about action, if you're not about, you know, having good common sense, I feel like you just don't want to communicate with people that's not of your world. I feel like your whole world has changed. You're on a totally different vibe than what you used to. And I feel like you you really want to make it known to people that, yeah, I'm a nurturer. I'm all those good things that God made me, but my feminine energy is not negotiable. I feel like you're just standing on your word, like, period. And you can back that shit up now. It's like you don't need nobody for shit. So I can tell you what I want and what I will not stand in my life. And it's it's okay that you don't want to, you know, whoever this is, I just feel like it's okay if you don't want to go with it. That, that's the whole point. Like, so we don't go through three years of marriage, five kids, two businesses, two houses, two cars, two dogs. We ain't got to go through that. You're setting boundaries. Oh, how the tide have changed. It's a new dawn. It's a new day for Scorpio. That's what I heard. Yeah, look, the tree of life. I can't make it up. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. You, Scorpio, you realize that your creator... It's who you give thanks to, the nine of pentacles. And that's why your life is more abundant now. You're not looking outside of yourself for anything. You're not looking outside of yourself for anything. So life is beginning to open up to you. What life? The tree of life. All of it. Look at these numbers. Every code, every matrix, every obstacle, every, every breakthrough. You, you've been spiritually guided, Scorpio, your whole entire life for this moment, for this time, for this phase in your life. And everybody going to see it. Even the people that, that have passed on. Because I, I hear people energetically saying, I wish my mama could have seen this. I wish my grandma could have seen this. She's seeing it. That's what she want to see. She glad you see it now so she can see it. <clears throat> somebody somebody is is really upset though that you can have the life you want that you built be abundant single or married what whichever way you choose it's somebody is very mad that they're not going to be a part of that somebody feel like you changed up in the ninth inning is what i'm hearing no, it's just that, you know, how many how many years of my life I got to give you for you to figure out that I gave you the best years of my fucking life? That's the question. See, Scorpio don't have time for these fuck mind games and, you know, you to try to make me see it your way type shit. That ain't this type of party. That ain't what's going on. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. The world card, the wheel of fortune, like the tree of life. That's not what's going on. Let's be clear what's going on before we enter into anything. Like, I don't want to beef with you. I don't even want no type of negative energy in my in my whole life no more. Like, I don't want to try to manipulate you to be here. I want to tell you just what it is and see if you want to make your mind up. Because, see, when somebody knows what's, what's, what's required of them, not what's needed, that's the energy you going into 2024. I require. I don't need shit. And I feel like God just done set us up. To, to a point where we can be like that. The world and the king of wands. Like you did all you needed to do. You passed every test. <clears throat> you loved everybody. You went through so many heartbreaks. And they just all seemed to run together. You never got a chance to recuperate from any of them. But God giving you rest now. How? By replenishing you. By rebuilding you. By restoring you. By sending people in your life. That are required, not needed. What I said. Mm-hmm. Yep. This ain't no witchcraft. This ain't no black magic. This ain't no who who uh sex the best. 
See, see how you just, you, you just, Scorpio, you just cutting out the fuckery. You just, you just feel, you just realize like it don't take all that. It don't take all that. Love, love bring an element in it that's kind of like unreachable. It makes kind of everybody fail. And then everybody fails and then there's one person in that failure that, that still failed, but they came out of it a little more educated than the other person did. Because this person still stuck in their ego and thinking if they would have did this. If they'd, have, if they'd have manipulated you this way, then that might have worked. So they go to the next female and they try it out again. But far as far as I'm concerned, Scorpio, uh, a lot of us are in that phase of abundance and being solo. You just, your, your creation is going to be your baby, which is like your business or your, you know, your, um, you learning another language, you traveling. Like, I feel like that's where your energy is moving. You really okay with being... By yourself, because I feel like a lot of Scorpios, you really ain't been single. And if you have, you you know, you like from one marriage to the next, from one connection to the next connection. Like, I feel like this is a time of rest. Yeah, look, the overall energy is the king of cups. That's you, Scorpio. Being fulfilled, being happy, being nurtured, feeling, you know, um, like you're in something that's real. Something for the long haul. This is something that feeds your soul. <laughs> and it's just you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of self-love is what's going on, too, with this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you died to self a million times in 2023, Scorpio. Everything you tried didn't work, but at least you tried. That's what God is saying. At least you tried. I got people who have gifts. They don't use them. They don't even try to use them. They don't recognize them. God is taking that away from them and giving it to people like Scorpio who tapped in. Who realize if you want a, a, a better life, then orchestrate it. Start being more present in your own life. Stop letting other people tell you what's needed, what what's wanted and needed of you. Like, you tell them what, what you require. <clears throat> Y'all, it's just like the world, sister. It ain't, it ain't no different. Like, you go in the store and buy something, whatever the price is, plus the tax. When it show up on that screen, you pay it. Because you know that's what it is. Right? Or if you don't pay it, you can't leave with it. I feel like that's we're be it's almost like we've stopped being transactional with God because that's not how our connection, that's unconditional love. We know that. But now Scorpio is being transactional with people. Like, period. If we have some type of spiritual connection, that that's okay. But I'm talking about as far as my spirit, my um this avatar body, like I just got requirements. I don't. I, I'm not even really trying to feel the love situation because I feel like respect better than love. Clarify this wheel of fortune. I feel if I, if I feel like if we respect each other, we'll be together for the rest of our lives. Cause respect go further. I feel like every every emotion go long go further than love. I really do. Yeah, look on the wheel of fortune, the seven of swords. <clears throat> Somebody never thought. That <clears throat> that manipulation wasn't gonna work on you, Scorpio. Somebody, somebody thought in 2024. I'm talking about somebody. This is somebody who's still hanging on. Somebody still think you gave somebody hope to think they're gonna still be able to hold on to this wheel. Why? Because it ain't moved in a minute. This wheel is moving. This person getting crushed. This seven of swords energy is getting crushed up under the wheel. Why? Because you no longer deal like that. Whoever this person is, this somebody who from your past that you used to deal with. And now they're trying to come in in 2024 and they ass get crushed. Because you're not concerned with, you don't have any wants anymore. All you have now is requirements. What I said, the Ten of Pentacles, you don't have any wants anymore. Love make you want. Love make you very needy. Love take you off your square. It just, it, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much if it's not unconditional. It's too much. You can't even, you can't, you can't, you can't receive it and you can't give it. It's just impossible. What else for the will of fortune? But now you, you're sitting pretty, Scorpio. When I say sitting pretty, I mean you're spiritually functional and aware, for one. Okay? And you realize the lessons you learn 
in these last three years, now you're seeing the point. <laughs> Why? Because you have your, your belief system change. So now God, the things that, that you're not seeing, that God said you, faith is about not seeing it, but believing it. Because you did that, now it's materializing right in front of your face. Just period. So you don't want anything. So you're coming from a different place with any type of relationship. Business, pleasure, whatever it is. I don't need shit from you, the Palace of Swords. I feel like somebody... Um, <clears throat> This could be a, a Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting heavy Aquarius. I feel like a younger Aquarius, Scorpio, is um, flirting with you or trying to... Clarify this um, Palace of Swords. The Three of Swords. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think somebody younger than you trying to like manipulate you this whoever this person is they younger than you scorpio they are aquarius i'm getting heavy aquarius this person broke your heart so many fucking times so many times to the point where they got comfortable just like this been a way of life third party situations you and your divine masculine energy they done stole your femininity period you in fucking survival mode ever since you've been with this person. That shit. This person never thought the eight of wands in reverse. They never thought you'd stop fucking with them. And then that wheel turned and crushed their ass. Yeah, be very careful. I keep getting that because in this time, but I feel like we're 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 protected, but I still say be I, I don't know why I want to say just be careful. Like, because these people are spiritually schizophrenic okay so what am i saying they have no control over this it's it's whatever whatever attachments are overtaking them not possession it's just like a spirit being able to move something they have that that kind of energy where they could take like on ghosts they, he he was strong enough to take that penny and move it you know um because it's and and the reason this is 1717 on the time and the reason I'm saying this, Scorpio, is because you're dialed in now. And when I say you're dialed in, you really understand what faith is. And that's why your world is opening up because you realize faith is about not what you see. It's how you feel. It's what you believe. That's what manifestation is. Okay, whoever this is, they never thought you cut them off. You, they really, because they put you in a place where they thought you would need them. They switch energies with you. They were in the feminine energy. You were in the masculine energy. So this person had you locked in, but God said, no, nope. <laughs> I'm going to lock your ass out. Clarify this nine of wands for Scorpio. Now, whoever this was that done broke your heart a million times, wow. Them the only two, well, them the only three that could turn over. This, only, this one person that done broke your heart a million times, now they fighting to stay, stay in this position. But God is like smashing their ass like roadkill. Like this will of fortune is it's, it's smashing them dead. I mean, like it's over with. It's up because you coming with this. Yo, they first energy was the seven of swords. I, I told you, you're not doing that anymore. You're telling people what's required. This is somebody from your past or somebody you with now that you brought over into 2024. On the nine of wands, you're pulling the queen of cups. I feel like you don't feel the same about this person anymore. Because when this wheel turned, I feel like it showed you them. Okay? And you didn't like what you saw. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. I feel like you see this person totally opposite than what you did. The Palace of Swords. You're realizing this person really don't have any type of foundation. This person don't. This person could possibly not believe in religion at all. Or just like believe. Don't believe in God. Okay? This person has no, no faith base. But I feel like you're finding out um, just how, how this person orchestrated what they did. And not only that, you're seeing that they're having a real issue with the will of fortune turning in your favor. Like who ain't happy for their people? This person. Yeah, look, the three of wands in reverse. This person didn't want you to expand. Because this person know if you expand it, you leave them behind. That's what they thought. Because they, this person 
they have low self esteem issues and they really feel like if you was on your feet, you wouldn't fuck with them. You're pulling the King of Cups twice on the Nine of Wands. It's just like, no, see, you realize that it's better to have somebody that want, a, want this job. You feel me? Like a lot of people applying for the job. Some people overqualified. Some people underqualified. <laughs> you feel me? But it's like you you already you already burnt your bridge. Whoever this is, they already did all they can do. And they still trying to apply pressure in 2024. And it's like they don't even know the switch happened. So here they come back in this new year. The first thing they're going to offer you is the seven of swords with the ten of pentacles attached. Fuckery. That's your ten of pentacles. How you going to try to make me feel like uh, my abundance is because of you. No, my abundance is cut in half because I've been fucking with you. But now the Ten of Pentacles back. Why? Because the wheel turned. Clarify this world. This shit over with. Whoever this is trying to uh, manipulate this situation or trying to. This person is losing it. Because they know you see them now. On the world you pulling the sun. Just period. The world and the sun. Like you seeing this person from every angle. Spiritually, physically, mentally. Like you see what this person did. Yeah, the fool card. What I said. Your faith has changed. Your faith has truly changed, Scorpio. You believe now. You believe. You believe that people closest to you can be the worst to you. You believe that it is a, a such thing as spiritual vampires. People who have succubus energy. People who astro travel. Like You believe a lot of things you didn't believe last year. Somebody detoxing from religion. What I said. The title card. A major purchase is being made. <laughs> this could be a house. Because you, you're definitely relocating. Somebody building a house from the ground up this year. I've been saying that for three years. So I know it's going to happen. Maybe it's me. If y'all don't want to claim it. I claimed it. But you're totally, you're totally moving households here. I don't know if it's. Like, out of town, but I, you're definitely moving out of the house you're in, Scorpio. That's just what I'm getting. What else on the world? Some of you guys are traveling the world because of this money coming in. The King of Pentacles. I feel like you're very stable in 2024. You could pretty much do whatever the hell you want to. And it's like, that's the reason why nobody's able to manipulate you. Because you don't, they don't, you don't have a need. You're not sending out in the universe that you need anything. Okay, you realize everything you need is inside of you. Look, the Nine of Cups. Look at you, Scorpio. All your wishes are coming true. Every single one of them. You're pulling the Seven of Pentacles on the King of Wands. I'm telling you, it's about who can help with the harvest. Who can help me pick? Yeah, it's the harvest came in. Who gonna help me gather the harvest? That's what I'm getting. Like, the King of Wands... I, I don't have to love you. You ain't got to have good sense. Can you help me gather this wealth? Can you help me? Can you help me um, be more creative? Can you elevate anything about me? <laughs> and with the King of Wands, that's a yes. See, even this way, you, he ain't even got to be an emperor. He ain't even got to be an emperor. Yeah, this worrying somebody. How you? How you? <laughs> Yeah, the death card on the bottom of the day. You were, the way you moved, the way you did, this shit was so fucking smooth. Yeah, the nine of swords. <laughs> I feel like you left that energy in 2023, the nine of swords energy, but now this person most definitely in the ten of, in the nine of swords energy. Because you gone, your energy gone, the energy has shifted in your favor. This person can't sleep at night. They know you somewhere else with somebody else and you doing good. They cannot penetrate anything that's going on. They're, they're, they have no access to you whatsoever. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Now this person is burdened down <laughs> and can't sleep. But they said, Scorpio, that you was a piece of shit. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. And you just politely walked away from their ass. No beefing. Why are you beefing? All your wishes being fulfilled. The reason the wheel turned is because you refuse to beef with this person. When when Scorpio know what's when when Scorpio know it's up and it's stuck, we go. We don't stick around. Yeah, look the hair fin. 
I can't make it up. Everything, everything is being spiritually guided in 2024. It's setting you up. Because 2023, we were preparing. Now it's time to work. This is the setup. 2025, oh man. Somebody gonna be traveling the world. <laughs> eating good food. Making new memories. Somebody's finances are going to be through the roof in the time of a depression. What I said, we already in the depression. You still eating good. You still you still making money. You still moving around. You still good. Your health and strength. You're spiritually balanced. You love yourself some you. Okay? Because loving you is loving God. Clarify this tree of life. <laughs> Scorpio, you got the tree of life. Y'all better understand what your faith is doing. You believing it is what's activating it. You don't have to believe what I say. You just have to believe what you're saying. Okay? The nine of pentacles on the true light. I'm telling you, a lot of uh, a lot of Scorpios are going to be single and abundant. It's just time for it. You never had a break. It's time for you to get your thoughts together. It's time for you to change your perspective about love and everything else. And that's what's going on. With the hangman, hey, you're changing your perspective. The page of pentacles. For a lot of you Scorpios, you're getting the green light for, for business, for a house being built, whatever this is, something major coming in. Death's still at the bottom. You're really standing in this reading, Scorpio. Like you, and like I said in the beginning, you're standing on everything. That's why we're here. That's why you, you're pulling that nine of pentacles, um, nine of cups energy. Yeah, the king of swords. You're living your truth. You're living your truth. And you allow other people to live their truth too. Why? Because you're not manipulating them. You're telling them the truth. You're telling them what's required. I feel like it's going to be like-minded people out there who, who look at the shit like, okay, this is a job. Because really, let's be clear. That's what it is. When these people come to us and they fucked up, when they come to us and they messed up manipulating us, it's just like a job. They 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 clock they making us clock in. They don't they don't reverse the game on us. At least this way, this person is logical enough to know that this is something progressive. The two of cups. This is a partnership. The feelings the feelings that lie between us have so is solely to do with respect for one another. The two of pentacles. I just feel like this is a balancing act. <laughs> I just get the energy like, you know, Scorpio, that's what's going to keep you balanced. Telling telling your truth. Not what people want to hear. Not what people want you to say. Not what people thought you would have said after y'all dated for three years. None of that. You're living in your truth to the point where it's almost painful to people. But who gives a fuck? You done had so many heartbreaks. You know what heartbreak means. You know what is, what's required with a heartbreak. Healing. And if people done went from heartbreak to heartbreak without even taking a chance, a time to heal, then that's the Scorpio who finna be just abundant and by themselves. And the other Scorpios paired up are going to be with somebody they can respect and honor that's, that feel the same type of energy. Some people might call that love. That's the new love language for Scorpio. Can I respect you? Can you respect me? Will you be there for me when times get hard? Are you ready to be a life partner or are you just passing through? It's just that type of energy for Scorpio. The Ten of Swords is here. The Wheel of Fortune is a Ten too. We got all the Tens. Ten of, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Cups. Scorpio, I feel like you paved the way for happiness. The Queen of Pentacles. Because I feel like if everybody, first of all, you, you got that, you got to love yourself. Yeah, the hermit. First of all, you got to love yourself, right? Look, the death card is still under here, y'all. How many times I shuffle? All right. You got the ten of swords. So, you know, you you really don't give a fuck how this make people feel. You've been through so much heartbreak till you realize if, if this, if me telling you the truth, is breaking your heart. You truly, you truly have some some soul searching to do. You know, you 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 seriously need to rethink everything, right? Because what's important to you, Scorpio, in this in this in this last quarter, 
this marathon, not say last quarter, because the rest of our life will be like this. You just want to be happy. You want to be abundant and grounded in the Lord <laughs> or grounded in your spirituality. Okay. And you just want to be low key about it with the hermit. You, you don't, you don't, you're not looking for anybody to give you any accolades. You're not looking for anybody to build you up. You're not looking for anybody to pay any bills. You're not looking for one damn thing. And that's why you have everything. We left that energy in 2023 where we're trying to look for something that don't match our energy. 2024, we're matching that energy. Why? Because with the hangman here, we changed our mind about what we want to believe and what we won't believe. And I feel like that's what pulled it down. <laughs> Just period. All right, Scorpio, that has been your reading. If you're still with me, like, subscribe, join the membership, the Scorpio Kisses. Let those ads play for a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I am running a $44, 44-cent portal reading. That's a portal for somebody, okay? Tap the fuck in, y'all. All right? Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video.